All right, so I didn't document everything I did too well, but um, I'll share what I did. I had a charge port that burned, um, and when that happens, it burned both the connector side of the charger. Um, it kind of this one looks like it still could be usable. You see how that pin's charred? It, it, I noticed it really didn't handle amps very much. It wanted to smoke more. And then, and this all started with the, this connection device not locking anymore. You might already be in that situation. And if that's the case, then um, it's you you know you already know that you got to keep it a certain way and wrap the cord around the fender a certain way so it stays in there. And if it gets uh, slightly out of place, it will actually might still charge because as long as there's some communication on these four pins down here, uh, it doesn't know the difference. So. Um, that's what happened to ours. It got dislodged a little bit and it burned this port all the way gone. This port is the one that's on the battery pack that you can see that wire is coming out of. And basically, uh, your option is to buy a new pack and charger. You don't have these parts you can buy. So, um, just did a little bit of research and, uh, looking into it and I ended up getting, um, two connectors from eBay, a trailer connector, a two pin trailer connector. I believe it's 14 gauge wire um, and let's see I can't read it right now I can't read what it was I'll have to look it up 14 gauge wire I believe 12 or 14 gauge wire and then this like waterproof data connector or something like that I'm not sure four pins on this one two on that maybe you get lucky and find one that's got a similar setup with two load contacts that gotta be higher amperage rateable and then I ended up doing um, a complete battery removal, case removal, and uh, took the cells out and got the attached to the board there. I did my wire repair to the battery side and then the charger side, and then I made my own connection, and it's now charging. And it's charging at about uh, 19 amps right now. And then there's no heat on these wires, so I definitely got like a good gauge wire. Um, slightly warm, actually, maybe... Like I'm trying to detect it, it feels like touching someone else's hand type warm. Um, I'm charging up a, a, a thermal gauge to see it died. But I'll check and see what the temperature looks like in about 30 minutes of charging. Um, that will be the determining factor. But so far it's definitely not like uh, burning itself up right out the gate. Um, you have you can safely connect these two. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing. No charging is going to happen until you connect your... Uh, data pins. This is going to have your temps. It looks like, from what I could tell, it looked like temp voltage for the for the battery circuit, and probably the other two is some type of data communication to to determine charging rate um, and when it was full. So um, I'll share any more details in like maybe a, a longer video, but that's kind of what I got. This is an option for you um, for this hole here. Probably what I'll do is um, they they actually sell this material. I think it's called potting material, and I might actually just uh, create something similar, like a, wa a plastic washer with a in the pot material all these wires, um, so that the moisture can't get into the case of the battery. Um, pretty easy repair, actually, just a lot of soldering, and it was effective. Save me, I think it was a thousand dollars for a battery, and nothing wrong with the battery, just the charge port burned up. Four hundred dollars for a charger, something like that. So. Uh, it's definitely an option if you're trying to uh, budget race like we are so